Hey everybody and welcome to The Cut Shot, Golf Vlogs. Uh, my friend Jordan and I have started this channel to try and bring to you uh, a little bit of realism in golf on YouTube. We see a lot of people that golf on YouTube and they're like pro level and that's kind of not relatable. So we wanted to show you, you know, our game. We're okay, we're kind of mid handicappers, um, but we wanted to kind of just show you uh, what our daily struggles are and, and how that goes. All right, got some time between um, holes here, so I thought I would show you what's in my bag. So here I've got my driver. This is the TaylorMade M2. Um, I've got the Project X hazardous yellow. It's a stiff shaft, 65 gram. I like my, um, my driver and my three wood to be a little heavy. So here's that three wood. Also M2, um, got the exact same shaft, except it's a red, come on, focus, focus. And for the iron set, I've got my Tideless uh, 712s. They are blades, as you can tell. Um, I've always felt better hitting blades. Never, never could hit uh, a set of cavity backs. For the wedges, I've got Tideless uh, SM6s. I've got a 52, 56, and 60. And for the putter, I've got the Odyssey uh, Tulum Vegas Edition. Uh, I love this guy. All right, so now it's time to show you guys some golf. I haven't been playing very well, but hoping these three holes will be good. So it's 10, 11, and 12, par five, par three, par four. And we'll see how it goes. Absolute money. Just to draw down the right side of the fairway, probably end up in the right trees because everything kicks right. You know, it's funny. I so badly want to hit a cut with my driver, but I can't. I can't hit cuts with anything. So it's a little ironic that we've named our channel uh, The Cut Shot. Um, Jordan hits cuts though, or he hits to the right. I am left or nothing, pretty much. It's, it's pure or left. You'll see, you'll get to see that. All right, so we hit the fairway. That's a good thing. I actually split the middle. I thought it was gonna be on the right side because it was on the right drawing back in, but ended up just pretty much dead center of the fairway. 182 left to the flag. Uh, it's just a little, a little downwind. And it's a front hole location, so I could probably hit a six iron and be okay. And just be beyond the flag. The seven, might not get there. I don't know. Maybe I'll go seven. If I can get seven to about 185. Yeah, we're gonna hit seven. I'm gonna push it. All right, so I decided on going with seven iron and just hammering it. Um, if I get six pure, it's like 10 yards too long. That's, that's not a good thing. So center of the green is the red flag. 182 is the number, seven iron is the club. Not a pure strike, it's leaking right. It's gonna be short. Well, should have went with the six iron because it came up quite a bit short. If I would have missed hit the six this much, I might have actually still crawled on or been just off, but now I've got, I don't know, 25, 30 yard pitch shot on my 60 degree wedge, which is pretty much all that I use around the greens. I've hit it fat and we're still not on. Perfect. Oh my gosh, just 
limping my way to the hole. It's awesome. Be a little bit leaking to the right. Crushed it. Wow, okay. That's a double bogey, three putt. Well, that's the stuff that infuriates me, being in the fairway. Um, yeah, not hitting a horrific shot from the fairway and then three putting and just chunking chips. That's, that's not okay. That's not typically what my game is like. Um, but today's been pretty bad. I've three putted probably four or five greens already today. I don't know what's going on, but that's golf, right? You just kind of deal with that, make the next hole better, try to reset. Next hole is a par three, uh, 177 from the tips. So I'm usually hitting about an eight iron or a nine iron into this. Um, so we're gonna make a better swing and we're gonna make better putts. Two putts, that's, that's my goal all the time. It's just two putt. Cause that three putts just jack up your score. And I'm quite over par right now. But anyway, so this hole will be better, I promise. So, I believe we've got 160, um, a little bit downwind, so I think I'm just gonna hammer a nine iron. I know hammering my clubs didn't work last time, but I'm off a tee this time, and nine irons are a club I can kind of count on to, to hit pretty well. So let's see how that goes. God. I'll hit it thin, not at all the shot I wanted. Didn't compress it, nothing. Thinned it to the right. Uh, it might be in a bunker, it might be on. Despite my best efforts to hit it really bad, um, it ended up on the green, pretty right of the flag, but hole high. Got about 25 feet to go. Let's just flag it up and call it a day. Hit a giant old cup. That is what I hit right there, like a hoof mark or something. All right, just another little tester here. It looks basically straight, three and a half feet. The three putt, two in a row. I don't know. You know, some days you putt good, some days you don't. Uh, today is obviously not one of those days where I'm putting well because I've missed a lot inside five feet that I'm pretty steady on, typically. I know I'm saying all these things like, like you know it, but you don't because <laughs> this is like my first video. But hopefully you'll see that, you know, putting and chipping is, is the strong suit in my game. Uh, off the tee is not. I'm usually like a scrambler type of guy. So two holes, uh, three over. That is not a good way to start. Next is a dog leg left par four. It's an iron off the tee. I usually hit four. It'll typically leave me anywhere between 125 and 150. Um, let's see if we can at least get a par or maybe two putt <laughs> the green. No matter what, just two putt it. All right. Yeah, we'll see. Hit it right into the junk. All right, so from the tee, crossed the ravine. Um, it crossed, came into play, and then went out over here. So I've taken a drop out here, I don't know what I have to the hole because I can't see it. So I'm gonna hit my 52, which is about a 125 club, somewhere out there where I feel like I can have a shot at the hole. And a chunk of that. 
but maybe I'll be able to see the hole from there. 112 into the breeze, that's a sand wedge. Extreme side hill life, fluffiness. I'm sitting on a tuft of grass here. So not really expecting to hit a good shot here, but gotta go for it anyway. Hopefully you guys are hearing what I'm saying and not just this lawnmower over here. It's fluffed it, it's going in the bunker short. Oh, it's on, what do you know? Terrible, terribleness. So, long way away. I haven't been putting well, so I'm going back to my wedge. Let's try to stick it tight and a low checking ball. All right. Finally hit a good shot. It's for like a double bogey, probably. Sweet. Well, that wraps up the vlog for today. Um, really bad. That was a double bogey on that hole. Bogeyed the hole before that and double bogeyed that. So that's five over in three holes. Two three putts. And then I just balanced it with a one putt. So yeah, I don't know, that's real life. You guys are gonna see stroke for stroke what my game is like. Some days you'll see good stuff and a lot of times you'll see bad stuff. But hopefully you enjoy it and it's something you can relate to and you can understand that people are struggling out there. That not everybody on YouTube that golfs is a pro. There are normal people out there like us. Hit record. <sighs> All right, post round wrap up here at Marshall Canyon in Laverne, California. Um, not a great day, shot a 15 over 86, came away with two birdies, hit some bombs with my driver in the fairway. So that's always a nice uh, wrap up. I, I struggle a lot with my driver and so being able to kind of get into a pocket and feel good about it, that's a good way to end it. Um, course was rough. Greens were really, really oversaturated. They watered those things like crazy. Not surprising because we are uh, gonna have a really hot day today and they wanna get, try to get ahead of it and not have their greens burn out by the end of the day, but it changed the speed a lot. So that had an issue because the speed was different throughout the day. Really slow in the beginning when they were soggy and wet and then really, really quick at the end of the day. Um, putting was atrocious today. I had so many um, three putts and that's not a typical thing that I do, uh, especially with this new putter. It, it feels really good. I love, love the way it feels, but uh, I did not putt well today. All in all, it's still the day of golf. I had fun, hit some good shots, hit a lot of bad shots, um, but I don't regret coming out, certainly. And I don't regret trying to be better uh, and showing you guys what that process looks like. So I hope you enjoy and um, yeah, we'll see you in the next one, I guess. Oh, it sucked so bad.